Recently, Lilith announced they were planning on eventually doing epic Siege Commanders. Now, I think this is an amazing idea and something that I've advocated for for a long time is allowing us to invest into epic Siege Commanders without having to invest our legendary gold heads into the Siege Commanders. Because not everyone wants to put 1400 gold heads into Siege Commanders and then them not really work out. Even though Siege Commanders do very, very well in Season of Conquest, I think it's actually a very versatile way to play the game. If you've not already checked out Mr. Siege, he is fully dedicated to running engineering commanders. I'd highly recommend checking his channel out because his channel is phenomenal and really shows the viability of engineering in 2024. And I think this is part of the future of Rise of Kingdoms, allowing us to invest into these engineering commanders. And I do think that investing into epic commanders will be very, very good in the future. Now, I am planning on running engineering commanders on my farm account. And so I have actually talked with Mr. Siege about like what he would recommend and how to make like the best pairing for my farm account because I'm planning on running two accounts with engineering, my farm two and my farm three, as they are the ones with the most amount of materials and the most amount of viability in terms of technology to trade the best in Season of Conquest. But I, I've already talked with my kingdom leadership and I'm like, I'm planning on running it. I know I'm going to trade horribly. And so like those are less of farm accounts and more alts now because like I'm going to need the resources to then put into engineering like not only with technology but also in trading horribly because I know that my trades are going to be absolutely horrific when I start using these in the field because not only will I have no crystal technology like I'll show you this is my my second account um it, it was at like 50 million power but I had to drop it a little bit to fit into my matchmaking power which is under 50 million but I will show you what like this farm account looks like and how I will be actually be able to use engineering on it. And so, you know, I am still obviously working on some siege technology. So I will hopefully have both these at level nine out of 10, uh, pl planning on having both those nine out of 10 by KVK. I do have all three of these at nine out of 10 as well. So, you know, I won't have T5, I won't really be anywhere near T5 because the thing that's holding me back the most is actually my watchtower and my wall because I won't be able to, you know, upgrade those to get into uh, upgrading stuff. So I won't really be able to upgrade my academy for a very long time, because I believe you also have your castle fully maxed out, which I'm nowhere near doing. So I won't have the ability to max out tech fully on my farm account really anytime in the near future. But I will plan on running siege commanders on this account, because I already have max YSS, max Zenobia for city garrison. And so, you know, when I look into how many gold heads I have, I have 650 remaining right now. I get two a day from VIP. And so, you know, over time, as I continue to get more gold heads in this account, I will be investing into those siege commanders and I will be investing into the siege equipment as well. So if I can get the blueprints, I will be trying to invest into the legendary sets. But, you know, obviously I might have to start a little bit lower and, you know, try to get the cheaper stuff. Um, just because blueprints are going to be the issue for me. However, I did get the accessory on both of my accounts, and so I will be able to craft this, which whenever the words troop deals range direct damage or range smite damage has a 50% chance to increase the damage by 30%. So I got that on both my second and my third account in order to, you know, trade better in terms of ranged combat, even though, like, like I said, I know I'm going to trade horribly on it because it's just the reality of having a farm account. And so, you know, when you have farm accounts, you know, you're just not going to trade very well. And it's more of just having something to, um, you know, prevent the enemy murder ball from progressing closer to our murder ball. I know for a fact it will be horrible trade. Like I'm fully aware that I'm going to be running out of resource on this account. I mean, would it be better to send all these resources to my main account to then fight? Potentially. I mean, I might send some gold, but... I don't really need a whole lot of resources from these accounts because I have, you know, five other farm accounts that I can send resources from. And so when it comes to, you know, using these for KVK, I want to make sure I'm doing the best for my kingdom. And I think one thing I can do with that is by sacrificing my marches to then allow other people to trade better, including myself, my main account. If I can have a couple of ranged combat commanders on my farm accounts trading horribly so that my main account can trade better, I mean... I think that's great. I think that's great for our kingdom. I think people will appreciate that. And it's just a way for me to contribute on a further level in terms of just what I can do with these accounts, because there's only so much you can do with multiple accounts. Like you can't be playing eight accounts at the same time. I wish I wish I could. I would be doing that if I could. 
but you can only do so much. And so I will be doing a live stream here eventually. I'm not sure when I will do that, probably closer to when we register for KVK of actually going into armaments as well. Not only on my main account, but on my farm account. I might be doing that in two separate live streams just because I have just so many, so many things to look into um, when it comes to ranged combat. I might actually try to set something up with Mr. Siege potentially and have him help me with armaments and things because like this is what it looks like on my farm account. I have tons of formation chests to open up. Um, I'll be doing fully V formation ranged combat with that. Uh, I, as of right now, I do have some for ranged combat, but not a ton because when I first started doing armaments, I was recycling all of my ranged combat for some reason I because I really did not plan on using it whatsoever. So, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot of work to do with that. And so maybe I'll try to get him on a live stream and help me out with that because I think that would be really beneficial going forward. But let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys would consider doing ranged combat on your farm accounts or potentially on your main account, because obviously it's becoming more and more viable as time goes on because people are seeing the you know the, the appeal to having these engineering commanders that are just doing really really well um you know i've, I've made some videos about how good a trade you can get in kvk specifically in the ruins you can get absolutely phenomenal trades so let me know what you guys think down below on ranged combat and whether or not you guys would invest into it because personally i think eventually when we get these epic commanders i think it would be great to have them in the game so that way you're not having to invest legendary commander sculptures like i said because that's expensive people especially on main accounts they don't really want to do that because i mean that's only one march versus you can invest into other commanders and use them in multiple marches so when it comes to engineering combat i think that epic commanders are going to be phenomenal just to increase the viability that other people have so they don't have to invest their very 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 expensive legendary heads into these commanders so let me know what you guys think down below and thank you guys for checking out the video. Have a great rest of your day.